Okay guys, so now I'm here at Penn. Uh, also been around for many, many years. Penn, very good quality. They are actually from Iron River. That's the main company. And they do also a couple of different brands. They've got the Berkeley range. Uh, I've got Sia and I've got Dexter here with me. He's, um, he's the main man in charge from, from uh, Penn and from Iron River. And he's going to take us a little bit through what we can expect from them. Um, a couple of their new products that's on the market. So yeah, thank you so much for coming through. It's lucky to always see you like as always. See you, yeah. So a little earlier, you know, we obviously we got involved when you did your awesome yes, trip down to Mozambique. It was a big trip, yes. Uh, with, with Batis, and that's when we started chatting. Yes. And you know, you got your hands on a Berkeley Emotions. The spin Emotions, rod, yes. The nine foot. I have got some more rods in that oh, range, which I do want to show you. Yes. So from the spinning, we're going to go start. We're going to look at the drop shot rods, you know, okay. so your 11 foot for your paddle tails. That's and that the one I was also using. And I, I've yeah, been that using one. that one when we're catching bonnies and stuff, um, when we're doing it off the rocks, the bonnies and stuff. Amazing rod. I must say, I really enjoy that. Exactly. But 11 foot. So now extending that range, we've got a surf range available ah. as well. So we've got some slim lines and we've got your heavier grinder rods okay. as well. I know we were chatting on the phone, yeah. so I think it was two, three days ago. Yes. You gave me a call. You said, "No, some guys won the emotion rods in the in the Kalyun Derby yes. that was held down in George recently." Yes. And there were a couple of questions. I said, "No, if you're at the show, I'm going to show you okay. what they're about." So let's see what let's the what they're about. I'll show you what they're about. All right. So kicking off in the range of emotions, we've got a wide variety of rods. So just a quick run through. On uh, the model, so we've got a seven foot, they start in a seven foot uh, medium action spinning. So you've got a seven foot medium, seven foot medium heavy, and a seven foot heavy. Ideal for your light applications, whether you're doing some top water fishing in the estuaries, heavier drop shotting in the estuaries, then you'll look at your medium heavy. Your heavy action is going to be great for your tiger fish, or if you're throwing some slightly bigger bucktails for your garrick, that's going to come into play. Then we've got two nine foot, a nine foot medium heavy, and a nine foot heavy, yet again for those bucktails in the estuaries and that looking for the slightly longer rod to get the distance also if you're fishing off the boat much as uh, the blow dumb crew did at uh, Mozambique <laughs> catching uh, those incredible fish they were using the nine foot yes but then what we are very excited about and what's creating a bit of a stir at the moment is our emotion surf range of rods so you can see here I've got the slimline series so we've got three models in the Slimline series. Uh, so it starts at a 12 foot, 2 to 4 ounce, a 13 foot 6, 2 to 4 ounce, and a 14 foot 6, 2 to 4 ounce. The, the 14 foot is going to be slightly bit stiffer compared to your 12 and your 13 6, because it is a slightly longer rod, so we've just stiffened it up a little bit, so it's got a little bit more pulling power that you're going to obviously use when you're fishing like really gnarly conditions, when you're fishing seriously rocky areas for Kalyun or Cracker and you don't want to go for your heavy outfits then you can obviously go down to that you can see we call them the slimline series because of the grips you can see how thin that grip is so shrink tube EVA direct onto the black very sensitive very light in hand takes the fatigue out of fishing and that's what you want when you're doing scratching you're making a lot of casts you need that sensitivity for when the fish are being finicky I mean we all know that a Kalyun as aggressive as they can be they can be very very finicky and they scallums when it comes to to their biting but a unique feature on all of our emotion rods is going to be the bionic finger mechanism so in the past you know we've always there's there's always discussions where to mount your bionic finger some guys want it on the right hand side some on the left hand side some must be at a 40 degrees some must be at a 90 degrees and then if it is at a 90 degrees once you cast it's in the way when you're fishing so we came up with this great mechanism that allows you to position your bionic finger wherever you want so all you got to do is you loosen that up a little bit you can position it tighten it up and then it stays there if you keep it if you're an angler that likes to to move the bionic finger around quite a bit you just loosen it up that allows you to move it out the way if your bionic finger breaks you can just easily screw that off put a new one on and you're good to go no need to go to rod builders and constantly pay to have the, the bionic finger bound on and all of that so it's a, a solution that suits every single fisherman so that we're quite quite proud about and then no that's super cool i must say that that's a super cool feature and what i um, enjoy about this rod you, you can't really even see that there's a grip on it 
Um, but if you feel it, it is it is really really comfortable. It's, nice and it's and really comfortable. So, so that's slippery. No, that that's actually amazing on the rod. Yeah. I so when it gets wet, you still got that good grip and yeah. nice and light. And, and these go all the way up to six eight ounce. What's your what's your for the heavy shark anglers that wants to use the Berkeley? Yes. So then moving into the heavier range, we've got three 15 foot models that are available. So you've got a 15 foot, which is a three to five ounce. So your nice light applications. Then you've got a 15 foot 5 to 7 ounce and then a 15 foot 6 to 8 ounce. So we've got something that's going to cater for all your styles of fishing. Whether you are fishing those back banks for steer and brass, you need your 15 foot 3 to 5 ounce. But obviously we're not using heavy tackle for steer and brass, but as soon as you start uh, fishing for your bigger edibles such as cracker, that sort of stuff, you know, you can move up to your 5 to 7 and then on the sharks and your seriously big cracker, that sort of stuff, you've got your 6 to 8 ounce. So a rod to cater for all techniques and then a very nice feature what we've done on our 15 foots so when you do buy into a range because we cater for all the different techniques and the scenarios it's very difficult to grab a rod and know which rod is which especially when they're hanging in the garage so we have color coded the rods so you can see here, this one's marked as green which is for your medium heavy outfit your heavy outfit is denoted with blue and then your extra heavy is going to have the red so just when you do buy into the ranger rods and you know your mate calls you and says hey the fish are running grab your heavy rod quick as soon as you run into the garage you know you need to grab your red rod and off you go to the beach there's nothing worse than knowing the bronzes are running you grab a rod you get to the beach and you realize it's your three to five ounce there's just no chance that you're gonna use that for for your bronzes so very cool feature on the emotions all the rods equipped with fuji k series anti-tangle guards so top quality components they are designed off of a 30 ton high modulus carbon graphite so very good quality graphite so yeah you know you what you're spending on the rod is what you're going to get from the components and that's what we need when you're looking at a rod at this caliber. Okay, uh, yes, there's a lot of information there, amazing. Um, any exciting stuff happening on reels and stuff, new reels that you're bringing into the market? So, so new reels for this year, we've got the Pen Fierce 4, we're okay. on uh, Generation 4, that's that's come out. It's uh, been... Different from the previous version? So just a small little tweaks, they've changed the cosmetics and then the bearings, they've changed the, be the bearings to seal bearings. Okay. So previously on your Fierce model, uh, it always used to be shielded bearings which just had the little gasket on it they've now changed those to sealed bearings so it just helps to stop all the particles and that getting inside your bearings just gonna allow that reel to run smoother for longer periods of time okay cool thank you so much thanks for having us okay guys and uh, we're gonna end the this whole two days of running around between all the tackle um, ex, ex, what do you call them uh, what do you call the little stalls here? It's the wholesalers. The wholesalers. The We're going to stop yeah. this running around between all the wholesalers now. And uh, we need to get on a plane back to George. And uh, see you guys in the next episode.